Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about subtitles and in particular the kind of translated subtitles that you can get from websites like rev.com and I've had a couple of my videos uh, subtitled and also uh, translated um, and I just wanted to kind of have a look and see whether those English subtitles and also the kind of translated subtitles really make a difference in terms of your YouTube views or growing your YouTube channel. So I've kind of pulled up a few different uh, videos here. These first two videos that you can see here are ones that I've had translated. And just kind of looking at the, the translation itself, I'm getting 9% of people on this one video and 12% on this video watching the English subtitles. And then around 1% to 2% watching the Spanish uh, subtitles on the, the videos as well. So that seems to me like it's a, a reasonably high percentage just for kind of starting out and trying to build into kind of non-English uh, viewers or viewership. Um, and I think the English subtitles will help as well. And I was kind of digging through this in the YouTube stats to tr try and figure out whether kind of paying for more subtitles from Rev or another site would be kind of worth it. So I had a look at an older video that I posted, I think it's from a couple of years ago, and in this past 28 days, 22% um, of people have actually turned on the English sub subtitles there. And so if you kind of dig a little deeper in YouTube on your channel, and I'm kind of interested in this as a question uh, for viewers as well, would you like to see more kind of professional English subtitles on my videos? You can kind of vote for a video that you'd like me to subtitle or translate below, and I'll kind of test it out. Um, so yeah, leave a, leave a comment uh, about uh, subtitles and whether they've worked on your channel or whether you'd like to see more translated videos or a specific video below. But I also had a look at my kind of general channel analytics as well. So this is looking at the geography um, of my channel. And if you kind of look at the, the top of this, you'd think that basically you've got the English as a first language nations kind of watching your videos most. So I've got the US, the UK, Canada, Australia, um, India is in there in the mix as well um, as a country which doesn't have English as a first language. Um, but in the majority, the kind of countries which I'm getting the most viewers from for individual countries are actually the English speaking countries. But actually, if you dig a little deeper and have a look at these views of 159,400, then the majority of the views are from non English speaking countries. So if we take the 51,665, plus the 13,981 from the UK, plus the 7,189 from Canada. Come on, Canada. This is where I live. We should have more views from Canada. Plus 4,546 views from Australia. So those are all the kind of English-speaking countries. And if you kind of scroll down, you can see all these don't have English as a first language. So if I take those uh, 77,000 views and actually just do a tiny bit of math here. So basically um, around 48%, so less than 50% of my views are coming from countries where English is the first language. So my thought is, um, and I would be interested to kind of know other people's opinion on this as well, is do you find you get good results if you have those professional subtitles um, from countries other than kind of English speaking countries? So I'm really interested in I guess growing my audience, but also being more accessible online to more people. And so really I'm interested in kind of making my videos more accessible to uh, English speakers um, and also different communities of non-English speakers where subtitles will be really useful for your videos. So yeah, if you've got any thoughts or kind of comments on that, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. My other thought as well is like, if people would like me to translate videos um, into other languages, then I'm happy to kind of test that out on one or two videos. It does get a little bit more expensive for some of the longer videos. Um, I did it on this full intro to Final Cut Pro 10, um, and I think it was, uh, you know, one to $200 for the, the 45 minutes, um, which I think is okay. Um, it, I translated it to Spanish, and that meant that I could share it on some of the kind of Spanish uh, Final Cut Pro groups and kind of see what they thought. And people were kind of pretty happy in general that there were good translated subtitles, but I'm not sure of what the, the kind of cost and benefit of that would be. So the English subtitles seem to be the ones that uh, kind of get the most viewers. I have had a look at other videos where I haven't done anything with the, the subtitles and the subtitles get viewed kind of one to 2%. So I'm probably gonna get another, a couple other more popular videos subtitled by Rev um, and then see 
if there's an improvement in the percentage of English viewers. So I'll grab a screenshot now and then I'll make a video a little bit later that kind of runs through it. But yeah, you've got any thoughts or comments about getting subtitles made um, and whether that can really improve your channel's viewership and engagement, uh, then that would be really interesting. Uh, yeah, and another video here, this is a popular video, um, but it's only got 1.8% watching the automatically generated subtitles. So the, the subtitles that I've made myself on a couple of videos and the subtitles that I've made with Rev definitely seem to give you five times more views on the subtitles themselves. I guess they make more sense and they seem more professional, they're easier to follow along. And this is another, this is one of my most popular videos. Um, only 2.6% of people turn on the subtitles there. But if we look at the top countries for this particular video, you can see that the US is getting the most views in the UK and Canada. But if we stretch this out um, to since upload, then you can see we're getting a lot of other uh, countries hitting it. Actually, if you look at the percentage of views on my other videos, um, there's a much lower percentage of people from other countries engaging with this video. So I'm interested to know whether getting something like this popular video in these countries, um, you know, whether it will grow that popularity in other countries by basically having those English subtitles in the first place to make it easier for people to follow along with the English side of things and to kind of grow that audience there. So you can see here for this video, which is a more recent video, my top countries are a little bit wider in the last 28 days. It's not kind of just limited to the US, UK and Canada uh, kind of threesome. So you can see in general that the videos that do have those subtitles uh, generally uh, tend to have uh, kind of more countries um, kind of accessing the, the video. So I'm kind of interested to experiment with this a bit more, um, kind of add some more subtitles to, to different videos and to see whether that uh, kind of results in a kind of improved uh, viewership on some of those videos. So if anyone would like to have a video professionally subtitled by Rev, so it's kind of more accessible, then leave a, a link to that uh, particular video of mine um, in the comments below. And also if you'd like to have a video translated, uh, then leave a, a video as well. Just let me know the language that you'd like it translated into. Rev has a whole ton of different languages that you can translate into. And um, yeah, I'm interested to kind of experiment and kind of try a few different things out here. And hopefully uh, that will help other YouTubers who are looking at kind of growing their audience uh, in countries that uh, don't have English as their, their first language. So I hope that's helpful. This is something that's a little bit new to me. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.